This is Liz bringing you the news so that you will be in the news. So let's start with Pusha T and we're going to be talking about the case of Tory Lanez versus Megan Thee Stallion. Also, we're going to be talking about Tory Lanez and his situation that is going on. I am bringing you the news so that you will be in the know and we're going to start with Pusha T. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz being reported that Pusha T is no longer with the good music, the Kanye West record label. So according to Pitchfork, Pusha T says he's no longer the president of Kanye West's good music. Uh, it says that the Virginia rapper was named the label's president in 2015. So the article goes on to say that Pusha T has revealed in a new interview with XXL that he resigned as the president of Kanye West's good music label. When explicitly asked if he was still the president of the company, Pusha T responded, no, I am not. The interviewer then asked him to clarify that he's not tied with good music anymore in any way and rapper confirmed that's the case so pusha t is no longer with the good music according to this interview that he did with double xl the article goes on to say that pusha t originally accepted the president title back in 2015 but he since established a 50 50 deal with def jam for his solo music and his label hair wave music group so now he is with def jam he is no longer with good music according to this it says that his most recent album is almost dry it's now his last for good music so he will not be releasing any more albums with good music according to this and this is what pusha t had to say he said that he's not speaking to me now pusha t said of wes in the double xl interview if you ain't with it you ain't down and i ain't with it i'm not budget on that i'm not with it i heard about this new stuff on infowars i don't know is something that just sort of tells me he's not well at the same time i will say that it's going to places where it's no way to move around it so apparently he is no longer with kanye west's music label good music and the article goes on to say that during the InfoWars episode to which Pusha T referred, Wes made a number of disturbing and hateful remarks while praising Adolf Hitler and Nazis. So this is what is going on with Pusha T. Apparently he is no longer with good music, much less being the president of the label. So again, Pusha T is no longer on good music. He is now on Def Jam under his own record label Hair Music so it has been said that he has not spoken to Kanye West since Kanye West did that interview on InfoWars so now it seems like he is estranged from Kanye West these two are not speaking to each other and Kanye West has cut ties with a lot of people and it seems like he has made friends with the new people since he has been in the news as of late but we have not heard from Kanye West as of late because it seems like the mainstream media has done a good job of silencing Kanye West. So let's talk about what is going on with Lamar Odom apparently he has a movie coming out so we're going to take a look at his Instagram page to see what is going on with Lamar Odom so according to his Instagram page he has a movie coming out and it appears to be entitled Lamar Odom and Kardashian ends so apparently he has some more to tell some more that we don't already know about his life and Kardashian so this is what he posted on his instagram page so why is he coming out with this movie now so this person says get your money so it appears to be a money grab for lamar odom another person says have always admired you but i really hope you ain't go out there and blast her i mean she did stand by you at one of your lowest moments in addition you have to say it she was a warrior having to face the world while her dream marriage was all but dot 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 so so this person appears to be blaming Lamar Odom for the fact that he and Khloe Kardashian did not have a picture perfect wedding. So this person replies to this person and says, I think for money, he would, it's the root of all evil, God be with us all. So this person is thinking that he would have something negative to say about Khloe for the money. And another person says, He's only ever had good things to say about Kay and family. So this person denies that he will say anything derogatory about Chloe in the movie. Another person says, money is not the root of all evilness. The love of money is the root of all evilness. So this person says, correction, that the money is not the root of the evil, but the love that the people have for the money apparently is. And this person says, uh... You obviously pay no attention to Lamar Adam. He always takes accountability for his shortcomings and he 
has always said good things about his ex-wife so this person is saying he has always had good things to say about chloe so a lot of people are doubting that he will have anything negative to say about chloe but this is what is going on with my odom apparently this movie comes out on january the second on fox and then the next day on hulu according to the post on lamar odom page so let us know will you be watching this movie also let's talk about what is going on with megan the stallion and her trial against tori lane so apparently her bodyguard is missing so just when you thought that it couldn't get worse for megan the stallion it appears that it has gotten even worse because this witness was for the prosecuting team but you know what kelsey is also for the prosecuting team so that could not be saying a whole lot but again this witness is for the prosecuting team so according to radar online tori lane's trial prosecutors launch investigation into megan the stallion's missing bodyguard alleged witness intimidation so they think that it might be some witness intimidation that is going on it says that megan the stallion's bodyguard is still missing and prosecutors have allegedly launched an investigation into what the rapper's lawyer believes could be witness intimidation in the tory lane shooting trial so who could be intimidating this witness allegedly so the article goes on to say that justin edison was supposed to take the stand in the trial on friday but never showed up at the los angeles courthouse the la county da's office reportedly has police looking for him as his whereabouts are still unknown so they have the police looking for this man his whereabouts again are still unknown it says that megan's team last spoke to justin on thursday just hours before he was set to testify at what prosecutors hope would shed light on the july 2020 incident when the what rapper so that's megan was allegedly shot by tory so this man is nowhere to be found to testify in this trial so is he missing on purpose or is it alleged witness intimidation so this is what is going on he did not show up in court reports are is that tory lance has turned himself in after being accused of punching two people in a bowling alley this according to rate r so he turns himself in to the nypd so let's take a look at this story it says that Trey Sons has found himself in legal trouble once again with the singer now accused of punching two people in New York. Again, this is according to Radar Online. Law enforcement sources revealed that the incident with Sons, whose real name is Tremaine Neverson, who is 38, happened in November. So the article goes on to say that the alleged victim said they ran into Sons at bowling alley in october an altercation happened where the entertainer allegedly struck two people in the face one of the alleged victims required hospitalization for their injuries so it goes on to say that one of the alleged victim was an employee at the bowling alley she said that songs assaulted her inside the bathroom after dragging her by her hair the second alleged victim is a guy who claims songs punched him in the eye he refused medical treatment at the scene so this is what is going on with Tory Lanez. He has turned himself in. So this is the latest of what is going on in the news. Let me know what you think about these topics. Let make sure you leave a comment below. And as always, thank you so very much for talking about my page. Make sure you like this video. Yes, to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube page. This is Liz. Keep it up with the biz. And I'm out. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the beers. Yo, this is Liz with the beers. It's Liz with the beers telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the beers.